Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to start a new series, a series about astronomy. And so what's the best way to start a series on astronomy? Well, I guess at the beginning. And where I like to start is talking about the size of the universe, because the size of the universe is such an incomprehensible thing, I'm going to try to make it comprehensible. And we're going to start at the very beginning. We're going to start at our own backyard, the Earth and the Moon, and get a feel for their relative size, how far apart they are, and so forth. And we'll build our way out to the rest of the universe to get a feel of really how big this universe is that we live in. So I need, all, I need a few props. And what I did was I got this basketball out of the backyard, and I found uh, this old baseball in one of our toy boxes. So to give you a feel of the relative size between the Earth and the Moon, let this be the Earth, and let that be the Moon. And that's a pretty good relative comparison. So notice the size difference. I've always thought as a kid that the moon was much, much bigger than that, but no, really it's relatively small compared to the Earth. Matter of fact, if you had a hollow Earth, you want to fill it up with moons, you would need about 50 moons to fill up a single Earth. So the Earth volume-wise is about 50 times as big as the moon. And mass-wise, because the Earth is more dense than the moon, the Earth has a lot of metal at the center, the moon doesn't have a lot of metal at the center, so therefore the Earth is much more dense than the moon. Weight-wise, if you were to put the Earth on a scale, how many moons would you need on the other side to balance them out? You would need about 80 moons to balance out one single Earth. So you can see the Earth is quite a bit bigger than the moon. So to get us a, a feel for some of the numbers involved with that, Here's the Earth, and the diameter of the Earth is almost about 8,000 miles, which is about 12,800 kilometers. So diameter-wise, the Earth is roughly about three and a half times the diameter of the Moon, slightly more than that, but I like to use kind of round numbers, so about three and a half times the diameter of the Moon. So you can see that this is, again, about the relative size between the Earth and the Moon. The diameter of the Moon is a little bit over 2,000 miles and about 3,500 kilometers. Now notice, if we were to put them on a scale, how far away would the Moon be relative to the Earth? Well, it turns out if the Earth's diameter is about 8,000 miles and the Moon is about 239,000 miles away from the Earth, that is about 28 and a half Earth diameter. So we took this about 28 and a half times and eventually you end up at the Moon. Actually, the way I drew it here, it probably want to put the Moon just a little bit further away, but then I would be out of camera range and you wouldn't be able to see it. So if I made the Earth a little bit uh, smaller, the Moon a little bit smaller, then that would be pretty well the right relative size. So that gives us a feel for the size of our own little universe where we live. Notice that mankind has never made it past the Moon. We've sent satellites further than that, but man, him or herself, I guess man herself, I don't know if that's the right word, but mankind, man or woman, has never made it past the Moon. That has been our universe where we have lived and spend some time, not a lot of time on the moon, most of the time of course over here, that's our home, but now we're going to look at some additional videos and start branching out to other parts of the universe. We'll start with the rest of our solar system, move to our galaxy, and then move to the entire universe and try to get a feel for the size of that universe. All right, there's video number one. Stay tuned for video number two.